In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an Epic HD shader mod on Minecraft to get your world to look like this. Just look how beautiful both day and nighttime can be in Minecraft. Now, in case you may have somehow forgotten, this is what normal <laughs> Minecraft looks like. <laughs> Bruh, I, I've used this mod for a little bit now and this looks, I can't, I can't go back to it. I need this. This is Minecraft. This is what the HD shader mod does to the game. Look how much of a difference it makes to the entire world. It feels more alive to me. I don't think I can ever play the other way again. You can even go one step further and add on a resource pack that makes the game even more realistic. I mean, just look at those trees. Okay, so the first thing you need is Java. You need to install Java. Now, all the links to everything you need to get is in the description down below. The first one is to download Java. You're just going to go there, click download Java, and you're just going to install Java onto your computer. Now, the next thing you're going to need is Optifine. You'll also find a link to this page in the description down below. Download the one right at the top here. You can see it's for this Minecraft version currently that is active. And we're going to download this one. Click the download button. It should lead to another download button here. When you click this one, it should start your download and you will download the file to your downloads folder. Now, inside that folder, you'll find the file. Now, if you've installed the Java like we did earlier, you should see this screen and you should be able to install Optifine. Now, this will install it to your Minecraft game as a profile of sorts. So when you open up your Minecraft launcher, you should be able to see in the profile section, there is an Optifine section. So you can see here on the Minecraft launcher, if you look at the bottom left, you will see Optifine is now listed here. Now from this point, you can actually click play and you can open up the game using the Optifine profile. Now, once you have the game open, all you have to do is go to options and then you will see video settings, go into video settings, just like this. And then you'll see on the bottom left hand side, there'll be one that says shaders. Now, when you click this and you go in here, this is where you'll be adding your shaders as well as turning them on and off. You can see here, I already have Silders 1 installed over here. Now, all you have to do is go to the bottom left here to open up the shaders folder. And this will open up a folder on your computer in your Minecraft save files, basically where you'll be storing your shaders. Now go to this link that you'll find in the description below called Silders Shaders. And you're gonna be downloading the one that is right for you. Obviously, since the higher ones here, the extreme ones require a really good computer, you're probably gonna to wanna to pick one that works for you the best. I'm going to use the best one over here, the extreme volumetric lighting. And we're gonna go ahead and download that. Now, according to whichever one you picked, it will take you to this page or a page similar to this. And all you have to do is click the download button that you'll see on that page and it will download the file that you need. Now, you don't need to extract this. All you need to do is copy this file or cut it from the download folder and you're going to be placing it inside that shader folder that you found from within the game. So just paste it into this folder that you opened from the game. Now you'll know it's working if you go back into the shader section over here and you see the shader is loaded over here and all you have to do is click it and this will install or activate the shader for your game. And you can see there are some settings at the bottom right if you wanna change anything specifically like motion blur or you know depth of field or anything that might be bothering you with how the shader reacts. Now, once you have it active, you can just go into any world and you should see your game should look something similar to this, depending on which version, the extreme, the light, the medium, whichever one you installed on your game. Now, I took this a step further and I installed a resource pack called Conquest Underscore. So going to the final link in the description should open up this page over here for the Conquest underscore resource texture pack for the game. And all you have to do is click the download button off to the side over here, which will download the file. Now from within the game, you can go to the main menu and go to resource packs, which you might have done this a few times already before. Click that and then you're gonna to go to the bottom here that opens the pack folder. And this will open up the folder where your resource packs are installed. And all you have to do is with that resource pack that you just downloaded, you just need to drag it into this folder that you opened up from the game. And there you go, you have it in the game now. In order to put it on, all you have to do is press the arrow so that it's on the right side. If you don't want it, you just press the arrow so that it goes onto the left side. But since we want the mod on, we're gonna keep it on the right side. Now this is what the resource pack does to the game. Look at the grass, look how real this looks. This is like real life Minecraft. It's beautiful, it's actually fantastic. It makes everything look amazing even the ocean and everything. Now, if we look at just the normal HD shader mod, this is just the normal HD shader without the resource pack. And this is just normal Minecraft again. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.